It's the Thunder by a lot, 70 points. I hope there's no trains. Thanks to Mr. Boss. We'll get one through here, the Swan Hill, very soon. Tap away by Ladson from the Thunder. Bibby couldn't take it with her. And uh, they should try and clear Darabin, which they will. Just a little kick out of the pack here. Doesn't go to anyone in particular. Baldwin couldn't get it for the Thunder. Here's Ross. He's been good in the half-back line. Did he pick it up? No. A little bit soapy out there. Must have rained during the break. But the kick away was good by Cannon. It's been okay back there. Mark taken. A bit more luck than good fortune was Cutrus. He delivers the ball on. Here's Bibby. Bibby looks deliberate. Gets a short pass going. It's a little deep for Walsh. Can't get there at first. And I reckon that one might be across the line. In fact, Walsh has picked it up. Had a little swing. It's a good kick. How about this? And McLennan Bailey will take a pop shot from about 10 out, Tom. Uh, Something out of nothing. Yeah, I hope she kicks a goal here, Brian. She, that's a reward for effort. She's had a really, really good game today. And I'd just like to see her hit the scoreboard here. That'd be really good. A bit swirly down that end. She just goes short. It's a little kick, but it's a good kick. So another goal to the score. 12 11 77 the Bendigo Thunder. We've only gone a minute into this final term for La Cecile's one point to Darabin. Tom Nicholson for Grilled Bendigo. I think, uh, other than the first quarter, Brian, where the, the Thunder really, really dominated the game, Darabin have had a fair bit of the football, but uh, they're, just, they're just falling down in, in the forward half where I think they may have their back line fairly strong and it just gets forward and then they fall over a little bit. Umpire comes back in to do it again. He's only there a minute ago. Here we go. Wind is going across the ground here. Runa Oval, round six of the NFL Division One. Darabin, team in the red, the Bendigo Thunder in the black. No one really wants this one to come out, so the umpire will come back in. Do you say anything as an umpire, Tom, to the girls when you've got to do multiple ball ups like that? Do you say, look, come on, girls, we're going to need to spread this out, or do you just yeah, you, do your thing? Yeah, you, you try to give them a little bit of bit of help, and uh, look. It, Women's football at the moment is in, in its infancy, so we've got to try and protect them and, and help them out a bit. Ball's in dispute again, right in front of our commentary box. Well, we haven't really got a commentary box. We're up on the hill. And this is how we roll, isn't it, Tom? Beautiful hill it is, too. <laughs> this is how we roll. And we've got no Channel 9. Uh, no. Seven. No, Which one does it? Who does the footy? Seven? Uh, they will, yeah, they do. Can you imagine Brian Taylor calling from here? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. Happy. We are on the grassroots. Holt had it, gave it to her opponent and Cannon. She brings it towards Balleria, who turns around and just tries to strip her, her opponent and does, basically. Here's McAvoy. McAvoy, short kick is on to Walsh. And I tell you, she's got about three opponents waiting to handball it. But Walsh is at, uh, at the, uh, the age of 21 plus 21, has said, buggy you're all, I want to kick a goal. Great team play by Olivia McAvoy there, though, just to chip it over the top. She could have had a shot herself, but has now made pretty much a certainty of it being a goal. Not sure about that. The angle is acute by Walsh. She runs around, gets on a little banana, na 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 na. Where's that going? I reckon it might be through, Thomas. Yes, it is. Never in doubt. Another goal to Walsh. Never in doubt, that one. Yeah, so 12 11. They lead the Bendigo Thunder. Darabin just the one point. And we've been going nearly three minutes into this last term. Thanks to Mr. Bob's. Got those beautiful burgers. I had Mr. Bob's yesterday. I had some pumpkin soup and. Uh, Mushroom risotto, really, really nice. Pumpkin soup. I loved it. Wow. Oh, it's a, it's a wow. soup kind of time at the moment. It is, it, it is, it is. It's just we're leading into that time of the year. Pumpkin soup wouldn't hurt on a day like this, Thomas. Yeah. It's throwing back up in quite the Quite nice. Geary gets another hit out. I'd like to know how many that is. The umpire says you may have got a little high. I'm not, too sh I'm not too sure he could tell from where he was positioned there. Post was the one with the free kick. She tried to do something fancy and pass it off to a teammate off the side of a boot. Back in there is Cannon. She got a little handball out. No one really doing much in there. And the umpire will come in, back in and, and throw this one up again, Thomas. Yes, he will. Uh, probably his 33rd time for the quarter. <laughs> Geary, another tap out. Little kick was on by uh, the girl from Darabin in Smith. Balls out towards the boundary line. They've defended pretty well. Handball was good out there. Comes back to Thomas. She tried to uh, be a little cute. Teammate was under pressure. There's a oh. kick out. Here's a chance for Darabin. Who's going to collect this ball? It is uh, Carly McRae that did very well. Picked up by Cochran. She kicks it on. The race is on out there for the youngster in uh, young Millie Nakuri. Does very, very well. Turns around and gets a kick. What a good little bit of play that was. Might be a push out there. In fact, it is to Walsh. But you've got to be impressed by Millie Nakuri. That was fantastic. Here Walsh says, bugger this, I'm just going to kick it. Who's there? They've got, they got all the numbers back there, Tom. 
Amanda and Carroll turns around and says, I'll have another one. And Millie Couture, uh, Nakori, really needs a pat on the back there. The youngster did very, very well to set up that play for the Thunder's third goal. I think the, the tackle on the wing there, Brian, assisted her a little bit. She sort of got swung around, had a bit of momentum going forward, and, and it just kept her going forward. And then we get a short kick, followed by another short kick, and then an easy goal to the Thunder. 13-11, what's that add up to be, Tom, please, in your head? Uh, it's a lot. <laughs> you don't need your phone for it. So uh, 89, I think. Yeah, 89. 89 would be right. 13-11, pretty sure it is. 89 to one point. About four minutes into this last quarter. That would be splendid. Charging forward again. Very difficult, yeah. Charges on his jarks for the Bendigo Thunder. Gets a handball away. This time across to a good friend in uh, Cochrane. Little kick away by Holt. Only goes as far as Abby Hay. She always does something smart with the ball for the Bendigo Thunder. Here she goes forward. Packs on. No one got it there. Picked up by the young girl that caught one in the scone before. I'm not sure that was where it was meant to go, but it did go there. And that's O'Malley for Darabin. Short kick on. It's all Thunder back there. And Ladson, Carly Geary slash Ladson will uh, take the mark. She's got Bibby out here by herself for the Thunder. Great kick too. Bibby says, buggy is, I'm going to go for a run. Gets that one off the side of a boot. Who's going to contest it? It is Carrot, who's been terrific the last few minutes for the Thunder. Gets on the trusty left boot. Kicks it forward uh, Bailey, or should I say Clanahan Bailey. Comes forward, grabs a, her opponent, and that one might just roll across the line. So we'll throw it back in. Nice bit of play there, Tom, by the Thunder. Uh, Thunder using the ball a lot better now in this last five minutes. I think um, we had the first quarter where they were good, but they're really up the ante again now. Ball's thrown back in. Geary. Here's Jarks back to Bella Air. Not much of a left boot, so she'll try and get around her opponent. Gets on that right boot. Here's Walsh. Waits for the ball to bounce. Wasn't the worst idea because it bounced funny. Uh, free kick is on, though. It might be going back to Darabin. Or no, is it? No, it's, Walsh, has uh, got it. Walsh has got the kick. Holding the man, the umpire's so pain. Holding the woman, Tom. Yes. Sorry. That too. Yes. <laughs> 25 out, Walsh. Already kicked one this quarter. Holding the person. Well, that's probably where we, we need to be. This is for goal number 14 for the Bendigo Thunder. Thanks to Grill Bendigo, and away we go. Andrew Walsh, the captain, pops through another one. 14-11, that would be 95, Thomas. Darabin, just the one point, thanks to the Bendigo Greyhound Association. Yes, uh, it's starting to get a little bit um, ugly now for Darabin. They've, they've put the queue in the rack, I think, and uh, can't wait to get back on the bus to go home. Well, that's the hard part, is that you've worked so hard during the game, you're towards the last quarter, and... It's one of those things where you said, you know, look, I've, I've put in so much, but uh, yeah, you do get tired. That's that's how it happens. And the pie's not going very well at the moment either. Yeah, what's happening with the Collingwood score, please? Uh, it's 17 to 10. Okay, it's only uh, first quarter, is it? Uh, it is the first quarter, yes. Thank you. Seven and a half minutes gone this last term here at uh, Warunar Oval. Darabin comes around one way, back the other was Smith. Short kicks on. It's mostly thunder. Good little kick forward, though, by the uh, girl from Darabin. And they're just going through a little patches. Great pickup, though. Great pickup by. I think it's Cannon back there. Back to Perry. Perry's short kick is a good one to Marshall. Can't mark it though. Should have. Ball's tapped uh, back there. Was that a throw? The umpire said oh, no. I would have said so. Yeah, I thought Cannon. it was. Uh, Millie Nakuri is in the middle there for the Thunder. Did well. Was uh, McAvoy. Tackle was great though. And uh, the ball will be thrown up. So they're, they're still having a crack though. Darabin. Well done. Yes, they're, they're out there. And having a go. Ball thrown up. Wasn't lads at that time. Shock horror. Got the tap away. Not going anywhere in particular. So the ump might come in and do this again. In fact, he will. Well, the nine minute mark of this last term, thanks to Grilled Bendigo Beautiful Burgers. The Bendigo Greyhound Association are going to have a no, uh, dog. <laughs> uh, Coggo's nose, apparently, soon. It's always going to win by a little bit. Lot as the, as the ball through and it goes across to McRae. McRae gets a kick for the Thunder, carries it to the back there. Here's Walsh, handballs the ball out in front of herself on the half forward flank for the Bendigo Thunder, goes back in and gets it again. Little right boot was on, carried for the Thunder, got the left boot, can't get it though. This one's going to be thrown up also. And they'll toss it back up, Thomas, and get it started again. Yes, this is the uh, ball up number 842 for the, the afternoon. It's been a scrappy affair, don't worry about that. Ball's coming out there. 
deep in the Thunder forward line. Kick was on, didn't go anywhere in particular. Oh, comes out the back, chance. Oh. Got to get it with your right, with your with your first choice, and didn't. Kick away out of defence by Darabin towards the boundary line. Girl tackled uh, very close to the boundary line there. Very hard to see with the sea of cars out there, but that one might be uh, close to the boundary line top. It's coming back. Uh, and now he's out pulled a out a free kick. kick. We're not sure how or why, but we'll take it. You may have paid a, fr a throw there, Brian. Yeah, might have paid a throw. Nice work, Tom. Better eyes than I have. Well, I was just looking at the umpire, which is the trigger. I'd like to see uh, Darabin probably score in this last quarter time. Yes, a little reward for effort would be great. I think so. Everyone's after the ball here. Perry brings it back. In fact, it was Jarks that brought it back. Kick was on, was good. Goes to Cochrane. Cochrane's uh, true centre-half forward position for the Bendigo Thunder. Short. Thanks to Lars Asiels, the mark is on. Wasn't taken by Carroll. She chases up her own ball. So does uh, the forward in there. And uh, they'll get away again. That's a nice little bit of play there by Holt from the, the Darabin side. They're out here. Keep going forward. They're out if they can keep going. And that's exactly what's happening. The fence has been terrific for the Bendigo Thunder today. The ball's not going anywhere in particular. Picked up. Didn't get a kick away was Thomas. And the umpire will summon. come in and say, listen, you six, seven girls on the ball, get off it. Yes, uh, they've been fairly busy, the umpires. Thanks to Ultra Tune Kangaroo Flack. Ball's in dispute once again. It was Collie. Got it across to Thomas. Thomas gets a kick out of the pack. Going back with a flight of the ball was uh, the youngster for Darabin and Smith. Uh, picked up by Thomas again. She got a handball away. The umpire said it was legal. Short kick was on. And the mark has been taken by Cannon. Not the greatest kick, but it'll be Wilson that picks it up and should have time. Uh, needed to be shepherded there, wasn't. Balls in dispute again, right in front of our commentary box, the great Damien Kerrin's camera, picking up the action today. Still not smiling after Colbo went down to Huntley, but that's okay. Ball's thrown up again. Grint's Keary. smiling. Grint's is Dennis Grint. Yeah, he'd be ball, smiling. Ball stolen away by Cody Jarks. The umpire says, give the thing back, and we'll toss it up again. Thrown up, tap away. This time it was Darabin who got the tap out. Bibby's in there for the Thunder. Oh, we want to go a little there. bit high yes. there. In fact, it was. That was a little dangerous by Jarks. And it's uh, Elizabeth Host. Kick oh. is horrible. Only went as far as Bibby for the Thunder. Be Big good. forward. Bella there at the back there. The ball will be re rebounded by Henson. And uh, oh, they go hits. again. Here's Abby Hayes. She was the only one that really picked up the, the ball. Cutress across to Jarks. Jarks gets a little bit nah, nah, nah going forward. Uh, Bellarare tosses one out of the way. Gets a handball to Marshall. Marshall gets a little handball out. No one in particular. Here's Bibby. Short pass is on. Only makes it as far as Carriage. She will get squallowed by about four but Darabin girls. And that is the situation. And I'll toss it back up, Thomas. Another one of those. Uh, Jarks a little bit, uh, a little bit proppy there, Brian, but uh, she seems okay now. 30 minutes gone. Last quarter action. Thanks to Grill Bendigo Thunder TV. As we let you know what's going on with Bendigo Thunder Women's Footy for 2018. That mark has been taken by Abby Hay. She's not one to muck around, so oh. she'll get the thing going, and she does. Good kick across the ground. Tried to find a teammate out here, out there in Cannon. Didn't go to her. Didn't go her way. Was tossed away. She'll have another go at it. Might have been a throw in there, Tom. I think you're right. She can play all the way around. Looked again. pretty. Yeah, looked pretty. Pretty much like a throw. And it'll be Regina Halley that'll get a kick. She does. Gets a kick out towards the flank, Bruner Avenue side of uh, this beautiful oval here on a picturesque Bendigo day. Umpire says I'll throw her up. haven't had the polish have they no. Durban they're just they're just lacking that uh, confidence where they can take a mark and play on that the Thunder seem to have thanks to Triple M Bendigo umpire's picked out a free kick it'll go back to Bendigo they'll be taken by Carly Ladson Geary may have been a third man up in the ruck I think yep, McAvoy for the Thunder it goes wide that's the game plan by the look of things Tom it's taken me three quarters to work that out and that was Bibby that got the short kick away. It's all thunder back there. And Bellarare. Very good mark. 
in that forward pocket that will take the mark. Short pass is on, a little bit too short. The umpire's blown the whistle. If you can see the umpire, you're doing better. He's than um, paid holding the woman. Well, holding, holding the, the woman, I like person, that. Or holding the yeah, Cody Jarvis. Cody Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> Who, again, Brian will go a long way to kicking this goal. She's a very good uh, user of the football. Has a shot from about 30 out. At the scoreboard. It's a goal, uh, never in doubt. Jarks kicks it at another goal, 15 15 105. Bendigo Thunder to Darabin, one point. Thank you very much, Emily Finlay. It's <laughs> country footy, mate, when someone can come up and hand you the best and fairest votes. With a few minutes while to you're go. Doing it. Yeah, and while you're doing the call, that's what it's about. That's it. Of this lock the box and so no one can get in. Well, armour guard, they'll be here shortly, <laughs> I'd imagine. Take them away. Of course, tossed back up in the middle by the umpire, of course. Wouldn't be anyone else, I wouldn't think. Tap away is by Geary. I'd like to see Darabin snag one towards the end of this game. Just tossed out. It might have been a throw. The umpire didn't care, and I think threw the whistle away. Get a free kick is on here. No, the umpire says, I'll toss this one up too. Well, I actually went to the Brownlow last year. Did you? Fantastic night. Just hobnobbing where? Just or? hobnobbing me and Eddie and a few other blokes. Yeah. It's a bit special invite, or...? Uh, I won't through Carlton Draft, mate. That says something, I suppose. Fair enough, too. <laughs> Here they go, Darabin. They go forward for one of the rare occasions, but the mark's been taken back there. The last line of defence, it was by Grace Edlin, who's been good today. Boys picked out a free kick. She'll go back to Darabin, though. Yeah, well, that's what well, that Adam was Egan's for. Egan's got the ball. Short pass is on. Went to no one in particular. I might have actually got in the way there, I reckon. You're right, actually. You're spot on. Nearly marked it. <laughs> the umpires are getting tired too, Brian. They're getting in the yeah, way. It's been a big day for the umps. Umpires having a bit of a chat there. He's saying, come on, girls. Long to uh, go here, so... That's what you do when you're an umpire and you're spent, Brian. You actually waste a bit of time off the clock. <laughs> Ball's tapped out. Down Darabin's end of the Runa Oval here, thanks to Grill Bendigo. And he'll toss it up again, the umpire. Well, that's what I do. Give anyway. me that ball, girls, and I'll, uh, I'll go again. Well, look, he can't even pick it up. He's at, look, he's saw the umpire. Set up saw. Two. He's set up uh, the thunder behind the ball here, as you can see, Thomas. Ball's tapped out. Yeah, defensively been great. Yeah, they have been good. Locked it in. Nowhere in particular. There's a few of them in there. The umpire, I reckon, should pay a free kick here somewhere just to clear it up, but he won't. And you can see what I see, and that is not much happening. Yes, there's 15 bodies around the football at the moment and he'll throw this up again and it will come back and he'll throw it up again, I'd imagine. Thomas, uh, with his crystal ball, has predicted the future there. Let's just see if he's right. little kick out there. Went as far as Sarah Ball went on to Wilson. She couldn't get a handle on it. Darabin have been pretty good in the last couple of minutes and they deserve... Oh, here's one forward. The chance for Darabin to get their first goal on the board. It rolls towards the boundary line. Here's Anna Perry for the Bendigo Thunder. Left-hand handball to Wilson. Wilson gets a short kick. Who's out there? Running into the ball was Cochrane. She'll take off now. She'll just get the uh, right boot on the ball and go uh, forward. Great little... In fact, a free kick's been paid. It will go back to Olivia McAvoy, the girl from Colburn Abbott. And the umpire's going to pay a... I think she ran over the mark there, so it'll be 25 metres. They don't pay the 50s in uh, women's time. I oh, know, it's... Uh, the 25. I tried to tell you, mate, Gary Russell that last week, but he didn't listen. No, Gary, you can't go. tell Gary anything. Bella Air, and you're right. It, it, it's all coming down to the last few minutes, and the girls are like, well, that might just about do us. We'll put the cue back in the rack. I think Bella the, Air. The, the 25 metres, Brian, just to explain that to the, to the viewers and the listeners, it's all about the penalty. So 50 metres in, in men's football because they kick the footy 50 metres, 25 in women's because they kick it more often than not around the Bellaria about looks uh, pretty good off the boot. Now, boy, does not move. So another one to the score, another goal for the Bendigo Thunder, 16 15, 111. Uh, they lead the, the uh, Darabin Falcons just the one point. Very close to full time. It's the last 60 odd 90 seconds of this game. Thanks to Damo Kierens, who's done a wonderful job as he does with the Bendigo Thunder Division 1 home games. Looking after us, Thomas. Doing a great job, and um, I just wish he'd pick his bottom lip up, and that'd be yeah, fine. Well, Bounce back next week. 
can't we, every week? And we keep going, mate. We, we mm. might, we'll just praise him because we might get a game call on a Colbo game at some stage. I think it was only their first loss, Brian, so... Yeah, fair enough, too. It's only early, no premierships in mate. Ball's True. thrown up now. Geary gets the other tap, gets the tap out again, the other tap out. She's got every, every tap out. Marshall's in there for the Thunder with the helmet. A little kick away, but there goes the siren. That is full time here at Runa Oval. And it's the Bendigo Thunder, big winners, 16-15. They have defeated the Delvin Falcons one point. Thanks to Girl Bendigo. Of course, the, uh, the exchange and uh, all the sponsors we have throughout the day. The Bendigo Greyhound Association. Thanks, Troy. Ultra Tune with Terry and many, many others. So uh, thanks for your time here. Keep uh, a listen and a watch on the Bendigo Thunder Facebook page. And uh, we'll uh, let you know what's happening. Tom, thank you very much. No worries, Brian. Thank you very much, Dave. Pleasure. And that's a wrap here at Runa Oval. It's the Bendigo Thunders, Thunder in round six of the NFL Division One. Have won 16-15 to Darabin, one point.